All right. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. If everyone can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the chat. I think you can hear me. I can hear me, at the very least. If you can't, I can. I'm probably going to need my venti, so let me try that here. I tell you, all the things you do to, uh, to get ready for the stream, sometimes you forget the vape you're going to be reviewing, you know what I mean? But welcome to live streaming, folks. So, how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's doing very, very well. We've got an exciting video today. It is not every day that Stores and Bickle releases a new device, so I am very excited for this one. But uh, I need you guys to do me a favor here. Before we d disregard this part here, but I find that by the end of these streams, I am pretty, pretty gone. So I'm going to do my outro right now. So just bear with me for two seconds here. So there you go, guys. That's the brand new Venti. Pretty awesome device. And I'm going to have a full review on this one coming soon. So keep it green, keep it sneaky, and we'll see you next time. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's out of the way. So now I can feel free to do some, some hard sessions at the end of the stream here. Because I want to show you guys what this thing can do. Now, before we get going here, audio is clipping. Okay, hold on here. What's we, what, is, that, is that better? I turned it down. Okay, let me know if we're getting better audio now. Better, better, better. Hello, hello. Audio popping. Oh, God. Let's hope, let's hope it's better now. Well, let, me, let me know, guys. I turned it down here, so hopefully that is the key um, to what we need to do here. So, okay, Sneaky Zoo, keep an eye on... She's keeping an eye. Okay, she's got an eye out here. Now, let me know. I want to ask you I want to ask you guys a question here. This is kind of a... Oh, someone's asking about the red moving thing behind me here. It's breaking up still. Okay, well, let's... I mean, geez, it's turned down. It's fine. It's really, really... Now it's really, really quiet. Oh, God. Well, we can only do so much here. Um, hold on a second here. Let's try... See if that works any better. Let's hope that works better. I tried I tried some out. So let me know. Let me know if that works better here, guys. We'll get it. It's good because everyone can get into the stream here. So uh Okay. Feels like latency. Okay, well hopefully hopefully we're all good now. Yeah, everything's everything's clear. Everything's plugged in. So uh there we go. Okay, we got we gotta go with it. As long as it's not just brutal here, guys, then uh then just let me know. Yeah, internet internet connection might be slow. That is totally possible, but <clears throat> okay. All right, we're we're gonna get going here. We're gonna get going. So today we are going to talk about this one right here. Check that out here. So very very cool. Very very cool. Uh, everyone's getting me. I can't tell what you guys are hearing here. I can't tell what you're hearing. It sounds good to me. Does it sound good? To... Sneaky Zeus says it sounds good to her. That sounds good. It's probably. Yeah, it's probably like a, it's probably just a connection issue. It's just only so much you can do in these kind of things, you know. Unfortunately, as long as it's not just absolutely brutal, then you know I can only spend so much time troubleshooting live. Yeah, I can I can see it glitching a little bit here. I can see it glitching a little bit. So, um, okay, sorry about the technical issues, guys. But let me know. Here's here's what I want you to do. Do me a favor in chat. Let me know what your favorite acronym is. What's the best What's the best acronym you got? Oh no, what is this doing here? What's the best acronym you got? Everyone's got some really good acronyms, you know, usually related to your work or something like that. Um, but what's the best acronym you have? You know, VAS is one we all know, but everyone else probably has a couple really good ones I would like to know. So definitely let me know if you can. Let me turn this down here a little bit too. How, how's that any better? Let me know if that's any better. I tried turning something else down as well. That should be, that should be good. Okay. All right. So now, today we are going to talk about this brand new guy here, and that is the new Venti. Now let's have a little, let's have a little boo, let's have a little gander, so to speak. Let's talk about an overview of this brand new Venti here. Now, Stores and Bickle, they're not the kind of company to just release a new device every year or something like that. Like they definitely have some volcano colors kind of thing, but they don't just release devices to release new devices. They take a lot of time, they have a huge team, um, they're researching, develop, testing, looking at customer feedback. Like they don't just pump them out kind of thing. So for them to have a new device out, that's pretty special. And I'm pretty excited about that. Um, now the Volcano itself, this was released in 2000, believe it or not. I'll show you a little, uh, Volcano review video here. This is, this is like a 20th anniversary kind of video, sort of fun, but it was released in 2000. So we're talking 23 years ago. 
Then 2014, they released the Crafty. Also in 2014, they released the Mighty. So in 2020, oh, 2021, they released the Crafty Plus. So seven years later for an enhanced version, right? Something's, everyone's glitching here. Oh, jeez. Guys, why are we glitching? Let's try this. Maybe we'll try this. If we try this, let's try this. Maybe that'll help. Try to free up some free up some computer resources. Let's hope let's hope that's gonna work here a little bit better. So okay. So 20, 2021, seven years they released the Crafty Plus, Mighty Plus. So we're talking seven years for a successor kind of a device, right? Um that's that's quite some time. Now fast forward to October 2023, and they've released their most recent vape now, and that is the new Venti. Let's take a close look here. There we go. So that's the Venti, right? Kind of a kind of a fun name. Now Venti, they they chose the Venti for a few different reasons here. Reboot, glitchy bad. Oh god, I I mean, okay, but we can try. This might kill the stream. If it kills, if this kills the stream, you guys just come and find the new stream here. But let's just see if we can. Let's try to restart it. Hold on. Hopefully it won't be long. Hopefully it won't be long. Bear with me. Let's streaming. Stop recording. Yes. Okay. So this should be good. And if it doesn't work now, we're just going with it. This did not mean. So let me know when we're live again. We should be live again soon. Okay. All right. Let's let's hope this is better here. Hello. Hello. Hopefully we have a better stream here. This is uh we're good. Okay. Okay. Sorry guys. I, I tell you, it's just like you get going and then all of a sudden it's just like it's not going. It's just like, come on, you know what I mean? But anyway, so the venti. So venti means twenty in Italian. That comes into effect a little bit later. And then venti or ventus also means wind in Italian. So again, that's gonna come into effect a little bit later there. So now the venti is clearly a tall sort of a device. You know, when you when you first see it, it looks kind of impossibly tall, you know. Once I get it in my hand, it doesn't feel as tall as it looks, but essentially if you kind of look at it, like you're holding on to the business end here, and then that's the cooling unit. So um, we're going to do some comparative picks later, but I think when you see it comparatively, you're, it doesn't look as big as it does in the pictures, but I do find it easier to hold than something like the Mighty. The Mighty is just a little bit, let me see here. Might be just a little bit more awkward to kind of get your hand around it sort of thing, you know? And then this is just a little bit easier to get your hand around. So it's tall, but I don't find it hard or awkward or anything like that. Now, one thing that's great is it's square on the bottom. So it actually stands up, you know, unlike the Mighty Plus kind of stands up, you know, but this one actually stands up. So it makes it very easy to load and stuff like that, which is really nice to see them do, you know? Everyone likes it, so it's easy to load has single degree temperature control with a screen on it. So you get an up and down button. The buttons are quite firm. I imagine they're going to break in a little bit better over time. Um, but they were definitely the first few presses I noticed. I'm like, this is this is quite a firm button sort of thing, but single degree temperature control. We're gonna go over the range a little bit later. Now, something that's very cool about this one here, and this is like, I think an understated part of the device. This has a hybrid heater like their other devices that gives you a mix of convection and conduction, but this is a totally new heater. They didn't just use the same heater that's in the Crafty or the Mighty Plus or something like that. This is a totally redesigned heater. And it's it's quite an important aspect of it. And I'm gonna tell you why later, because it really makes a big difference when you're comparing it to their other devices. Now, one thing that's cool about Stores and Bickle, they don't make cheap vapes. You're not going to find them making a cheap vape. Anyone expect them to make something for like 150 bucks? Like it's, it's not going to happen, right? <laughs> it's just not what they do, but they make like medically approved devices. You know what I mean? This is the mighty medic that it's showing us here. This is approved in health Canada. It's approved in a number of other countries. So, you know, you know, you're getting something from a company that knows how to make stuff, right? You're not getting this approved as a medical device. Um, if it's not going to be up to par. Now, keep in mind, this isn't uh, a medical device, right? But it's made to the same sort of standards and from the same facility and from the same people that are making this other one here. So now let's take a look at a little unboxing here. This is the unboxing. This is what you get when you get it here. So now, just, just so you know here, the Crafty, um, the Venti, some stuff they say about it here, all materials are, are food safe, heat resistant, non-heat conductive. 
to match the high performance of the device as well as optimize the user experience. It has certain certifications as well for like the batteries and all that kind of stuff as well, which is really nice. Things have been tested and they've been approved. So you know it's going to be safe having two large 18650 batteries in here because that's important. Now this has a boost temperature built into it. It actually has two different boost temperatures built into it. Audio is stuttering, but can still hear you. Well, hopefully you guys can hear me. I appreciate you uh, sticking sticking around here, you know, despite this audio. I shake my fist at YouTube every single time. I always blame YouTube, but... Um, so this has a boost temperature feature programmed into it. So when you double click it, um, it's it sets your base temperature as 356 Fahrenheit. When you double click it, that goes to 880, or sorry, 383 Fahrenheit. You double click it again, it goes up to 410 Fahrenheit, which is the max. And then when you double click it again, it goes back to your initial temperature. If you have it set to 365 before you boost it, it goes back to 365 rather than 356. So now it also has a vibration motor when you reach temperature. And then the last thing that it has is the screen actually displays in multiple colors. I'll show you an example later, um, but that's cool. It doesn't just have that same orange screen with the information. It actually changes colors to give you more information as well. So, so there we go. So hopefully, um, hopefully you guys can hear me nice and clear, you know. Um, now for anyone asking about the thing in the background there, it's all the swinging sticks. And it's super, super cool. I love it. It's just like my favorite little piece of decor I've ever bought kind of thing. They're not super expensive. This is like the less expensive version. They have kind of a, a pro version as well sort of thing that's substantially more expensive. But yeah, if you're looking for just a cool piece of decor, it's powered by two AA batteries and it kind of just looks like perpetual motion kind of thing. So um, yeah, we'll go over what it in, what it includes. But yeah, if you have like an iPad charger or like a charger for your MacBook or something like that, you have a supercharger already. Um, but it just comes with a USB to, USB C to USB C cable. So that's what you get when you buy it. So let's start going over the features here. Now we got our our feed under us. I, I never even saw the acronyms. I wanted everyone to give me these sweet acronyms, and I never even saw them because I was all worried about the audio. But if you guys have any sweet acronyms, put them in the chat, and Sneaky Sneaky Zoo is gonna let me know uh, about those because I'm definitely interested still. So let's go ahead and talk about the next segment here. Let's talk about the features. Let's talk about what is the Venti? Why would you be maybe interested in the Venti or not? Well, let's talk about exactly what it does. Now, the first thing here, I'll let you guys kind of read along. But the first thing is that this has a few different features that are unique to this in the SMB lineup. You don't find this in the SMB portable lineup. And the first thing you're getting is adjustable airflow via a rotary dial. So you can go from wide open airflow to quite closed off. They call it wide, medium, and low. Low, medium, and high. They call it airflow low, medium, and high again. Um, or you can go completely closed off where it's like, you can't even hail through it sort of a thing. So while it does have, I'll show you here, if you take a look, it has marks where you see this kind of one, two, and three. Take a look at that there. I actually have a close-up photo that's going to show you a little bit better. Let's take a look at that. So there you go. So that's, you see, that's mark number three there. But this is a rotary dial. So you can just, you can actually move it to whatever position you want sort of thing. But this gives you a couple preset experiences. Now, this is a figure that doesn't really necessarily mean that much because I don't know how to gauge this, but the Venti here gives you 20 liters a minute of airflow. And I assume that's when it's wide open. Uh, it doesn't really say, yeah, that is that is it wide open. So the best way I can kind of say it, when it is wide open, like it is wide open, like there's nothing in here right now. It's empty, but like, you know what I mean? Like you can suck through this thing with crazy, crazy good airflow. And then if you remember, I talked to you about that new heater. Well, we'll get into why this is so important with this new heater and the crazy good airflow. But having the adjustable airflow is really, really good. I would say when you go to setting one, which they consider low airflow, that feels like a mighty. So for reference sake, one is like, that feels very close to my mighty when I put them side by side. So when you go to three, this is completely wide open. Like, if you had to read through this this thing like a, um, a snorkel or something like that, I think you could. So, wide open is wide open. Now, the second thing, though, take a look at this, because this is what makes it way more interesting. So, this has... I'm going to go back to here. There we go. So, you notice there it talks about having a flow meter. So, a flow meter measures the negative pressure of your draw and then compensates by increasing power to the heater. 
but this is a substantially stronger heater than they have in like even the Mighty Plus. So that means that even when you have wide airflow and you're hitting it hard, this heater is super powerful and it's going to compensate that up. So even when I'm going wide open and you know going really, really hard, you're still blowing out a very similar hit as when you close it off. So usually you'd think when you close it off, it would be way, way more dense as compared to way more airy, but you're not getting that nearly as much. And I think that's a huge part of what's so interesting about this device. Some things you just, you know, it's not like you have to try to understand it, but once you do, you're like, damn, you're just impressed because it works really, really well. <clears throat> so the cooling unit, let's talk about the cooling unit a little bit here. Um, there we go. Some, some talk about the cooling unit. The cooling unit itself has been totally redesigned to be more effective um, because this is just a more powerful device, so they need some more cooling in here. So now it has two levels in the cooling unit to further elongate the vapor path so you can get some more cooling happening. It's also double walled like a thermos, so it really doesn't get hot even during a session. I noticed the mouthpiece of I'm going like back to back to back, that's going to get some warmth, but that's going like back to back to back in the hits kind of thing. Um, so this cooling unit does definitely seem to stay pretty cool during a session. And there's also an additional screen in the cooling unit, and the additional screen is there to just help, you know, further filter the vapor before it gets to you kind of thing. So now, like I mentioned here, the venti means 20, right? Venti means 20, and that's because you're getting a 20 second heat up with the venti here. I did two tests from cold. I did one up to 365, and I did one up to 400. And at 365, it was like just under 18 seconds. And for 400, it was like 21.5 or something like that. So 20 seconds does seem like a very accurate heat up time, which is pretty quick for a session device here. Super, super quick compared to the Mighty Plus or something like that, which is around 60 seconds. Um, I would say if you're going to hit it directly at 20 seconds when it's vibrate, it's just more of a flavor hit that herb still has to warm up a little bit. But your second hit, you're starting to spit out some pretty decent vapor. Or if you just want to wait 10 seconds after it vibrates, it's going to produce some vapor as well. So now just talking about this heater in particular here. So if you go ahead and watch the keynote, you can... Um, if you go ahead and watch the keynote, what you're going to see, what you're going to see is him talking about, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm reading the comments. I'm getting off, getting off my game here. So they talked about the mighty heater can output a maximum of 40 watts to 16 amps, but the venti heater can go to 130 watt at 16 amps. So it's a three times, just over a three times more powerful heater. So with that flow meter, it can just kick up that heater so much, so fast to compensate for the wide open airflow and how hard you're drawing sort of thing. So that's why I think I'm getting such impressive hits um, from this because they're nice and cool with that cooling unit as well. So I, I definitely like what they've done with the kind of combination of the increased airflow and the cooling unit in here. So now the Venti does have Bluetooth as well. It's totally optional. Um, they have a web app. I haven't tried the web app yet. I don't know if they have it operational yet, but you can get in there and you can adjust, uh, you know, very granularly what your boost temperatures are going to be, what your brightness is going to be, all that sort of thing. But you don't need to. And you can actually even adjust a decent amount of stuff on the device itself. Um, you can adjust the screen brightness on the dis uh, display brightness, they call it, on the device itself. And you can even just turn the Bluetooth off. So you can just turn it off completely. Um, but it's nice that they have Bluetooth and then they can do over-the-air software updates as well through that web app, which is kind of nice. Um, do I know I look like rapper prof? I do not. I don't know who that is. Maybe he looks like me though. That's kind of, kind of how I look at it usually, but, um, okay. And now, um, there's a lot of comments. I don't know if I've seen it, seen a lot of, uh, seen questions. Are you writing down questions there? Rapper, oh, kind of cool. Doing like an Illuminati guy thing, isn't he? Isn't that like, is now what it is? Um, but, uh, there you go. Now, now I know. And it's, it's always good. I saw a guy on a commercial the other day, and I'm just like, dude, you're, like, stealing my look, you know? Aw, oh, that's the same. Is this, I hope, is this the picture you're referencing here? I mean, I, you know, I don't have the dimples, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, decent mustache, you know, I think I'm kind of rocking a little bit more, but, uh, you know, it is, it is what it is. So, Let's go ahead and talk about the specs a little bit, the specifications of the device itself. Now, 
Okay, so here we go. So this is this is the delivery scope. This is what you get. One thing I thought was kind of lame, you don't even get a single dosing capsule. I think that's like, and I, and I don't have a dosing capsule right now. So I was really kind of depending on that. Um, I wish they gave you a dosing capsule, but they don't. I think it's a good idea too, because then if you try it, um, lots of people end up buying dosing capsules because they really like it, right? But they just decided not to for whatever reason. But you do get some extra O-rings, some extra screens, all that kind of stuff, which is nice because you won't have to buy them when you want to do an extensive cleaning or something like that. If you look, that's the dimensions and the weight. So 2.7 inches, 2.17 inches wide, 6.18 inches tall, 1.46 inches deep, and then 0.56 pounds. So if you're trying to kind of measure that out, it has the actual dimensions so you can get a good sense of what it's going to be like. Now, the key features, the temperature range, you go from 104 Fahrenheit to 410 Fahrenheit. See, now i got a mustache hair going. Uh, 104 Fahrenheit to 410 Fahrenheit. And then the heating principle is what they call it, newly designed convection and conduction mini heater. This one seems to be heavier in the convection aspect than the conduction as compared to the Mighty. I don't think they have them set exactly the same. Of course, that stuff's like splitting hairs. It's really tough to know sometimes, but that's just what it seems like to me from having used it. And keep in mind as well, this is my first impressions. I got it yesterday, right? So I've been running as many bowls I kind of can through to get a sense of it, but it's a fairly new device to me as well. <clears throat> so there's a picture of the box there. Now the Venti has two 18650 batteries like the Mighty Plus. I haven't tested it enough to really comment on battery life. It seems good. Um, seems like you're getting a decent amount of sessions before you're really seeing the battery go down or anything like that. The batteries aren't removable. For some people, it's just like the cardinal sin kind of thing to not have removable batteries. Um, and if that's just something that you need in your device, well, you just keep moving. Like it's, it's not for you. You know what I mean? They're, they're very, very good chance. You'll never see a device with removable batteries from stores and Bickle. You can't get them medically certified if you have removable batteries. So it's like, it's just probably not something they're going to put in their design ethos at any point. So if you're waiting for that device with removable batteries, you're probably not going to get it from them. But you know, things, things do change over time as well. But keep in mind too, with like the Mighty Plus, you can send them back to them and they'll do a battery swap for you. And I don't even think it's that expensive, right? So if you use it for a number of years, you can always just swap the batteries out so you can get that brand new device performance back again, which is a nice option to have. But, you know, I always think about it like, you know, I have a laptop in front of me. I have an iPad. I have a cell phone. Like none of these things have removable batteries. You know what I mean? Like it just, I don't think it's much of a factor as people kind of give it weight to sometimes. Like, um batteries have a ton of refresh cycles before they even start to degrade kind of thing right so i don't think it's it's you know a complete uh, a nail in the coffin as some people kind of make it out to be but just keep in mind with their other devices they run a battery swap program so you can literally just get it swapped out to new batteries if that if you are interested and that's the sticking point it's something to consider at least right so now this has a USB, USB-C charging port, and that's right on the bottom. Let's take a look there. So it's a USB-C charging port, and this is super charger capable. So they say if the charger is, um, let's see, so it has to be 15 volts and 3 amps, and they consider that a supercharger. And if you do have a charger like that, you can get an 80% charge in 40 minutes. If you just use the included cable, which is USB-C to USB-C, and if you just run that through a computer or something like that, like out your laptop, it's going to take longer to charge because that's not a supercharger, right? So supercharger is a, uh, probably a great song by somebody too, I would imagine. It's just, it's just got to be. That's like the bottom of the cooling unit there. So now, there you go. So that's a picture of the two screen or two different colors on the screen. It also goes blue. I believe that's the only three colors. It's the only three colors I've seen so far, but I think that's a nice feature. It's a nice strong vibration motor to let you know when it's ready to go as well. But just having the different colors makes it look a little bit cooler too. So we went over the sides, went over the weight. Um, yeah, so it shares, and again, the, the, the design, it's like this shares a similar design ethos to their other devices if you if you hate how the mighty looks and how the crafty looks well you're probably not going to like how this looks and probably not going to like how their next one looks as well like they seem to be pretty consistent in how they want to make things right but um you know it's like design is always it's just like cost it's very subjective for some people it's like sure yeah that's reasonable for some people it's like that's insane right so design's kind of the same thing too people people think a little bit different um about the same thing 
Some said it looks like my first VCR. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it's a pretty good comment. Like, looks like a taser, you know. I think it's just the, the tallness that kind of throws people off. I don't think people, people were expecting something tall, you know what I mean? So it just does give it a certain... Like, I could see, like, a phaser kind of a thing, you know what I mean? Give, give someone a blast, maybe. I mean, you hit it you hit it hard enough. It's kind of the same effect, right? But, um, but yeah, I mean, if anyone's got some really good uh, good descriptions, I would definitely love to hear them because that, that's pretty good. Um, looks like a toy I had in the 90s. What what toy? What toy? Like, come on, man. I, I need to know. So the old capsules don't fit. Um, that's a good question. I can't confirm because I don't have one here. I believe they do. It certainly seems to be. Um, let's take a look just side by side it here. But yeah, I was really... Oh, it's full. Um, I was really upset it didn't come with a dosing capsule. I just thought that was crazy. But there's a side by side. So what do we think? Looks pretty darn similar to me. Um, they do recommend the dosing capsules as well as an accessory. So I would almost guarantee they would fit in here as well. That would be very weird if they had a different size bowl. But again, I don't have one, so I can't say 100% yes, it does. Uh, until I can physically put one in there kind of thing. Big Buttery says bigger on venti. Bigger on venti? I would have to get my calipers out here. See, now you got me, like, looking at it cross-eyed kind of thing. It's like, once you look at it long, it... See, now I kind of almost think it does. I don't know. Take another look. What are we thinking here? Thinking bigger, smaller? Like, I, I need that dosing capsule. It's killing me. It's killing me. I, now it's like an optical illusion sort of a thing, you know? It's because it has, like, a different exterior size on the white thing, so the interior looks a little bit different, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm going to get some dosing capsules very, very soon, though. It's... Uh, it's a long story. It's a long story. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just run out of stuff. It, it, it happens. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to talk kind of some place in the lineup, right? Where do I see this one sort of fitting into their portable lineup? And one thing as well, I would also keep in mind because, you know, see people talk about the price, the removable batteries. Keep in mind the price. Like, it's brand new. Uh, it's only $50 more than the Mighty Plus. So when you think about it, like, I don't think it's insane when you're looking at it from that angle, but I would be shocked if this one didn't replace that $399 price point that a Mighty Plus has, and then the Mighty Plus gets a little bit cheaper. Like, I could definitely see them nerfing it down a little bit over time, but, you know, it's kind of the, the t early adopter tax you're paying for being, like, brand new, but keep in mind, too, Black Friday is coming up, Christmas is coming up, so if you are interested in one of these, and again, price is the sticking point, just keep an eye out, you know what I mean? I would... I would be shocked if we weren't going to be able to get one for cheaper very, very soon, if not already kind of thing. You know what I mean? So just keep an eye. So let's go ahead and let's talk about our last kind of part we're going to talk about here. And that's going to be the place in the lineup. Where does this fit in to the whole lineup here? So there it is next to the Crafty. Kind of got all three sitting next to here. Now, I don't think this one is really that comparable to the Crafty Plus. Um, usually, people who are going to want to get Crafty Plus are going to say, I want the smallest one. I want that really good vapor, but I want this one that can fit in my jacket pocket sort of thing. So I don't really see these two kind of competing. They're very distinct choices between these two here. Um... So, but you know, that's just a good size reference as well for anyone who has or has used a Crafty or a Crafty Plus. Now, once we talk about the Mighty Plus, ooh, I like that little transition. Look at that. Just like it's all growing. It's like that's when they first met. And then that's, you know, after a few years kind of thing. So, um, so there it is next to the Mighty Plus. Once you see it next to the Mighty Plus, it just doesn't seem as big. It's like it's taller. It's it's taller. It's wider in the one dimension, but it's a lot smaller in another dimension kind of thing. So it's like if you took the total volume of the like of the Mighty Plus and reconfigured it, I I bet it's around the same size as this one. Like it's really tough to say. We're kind of split, splitting hairs kind of thing, but that's kind of what I see. So <clears throat> let's take a look though at a kind of a compare a comparable between these two devices. At the time we're doing this video right now, it's only $50 more for the brand new Venti as compared to the Mighty Plus, which has been out since 2021, I believe it is. So, you know, it's not too much more expensive considerably, but this is a premium portal. It's made in Germany uh, by a medical grade manufacturer. Like there are cheaper vapes, but you typically get what you pay for. 
um, at least to some degree, right? So like I say, they're, if you're looking for like a cheap uh, replaceable battery vape, man, there's a hundred out there. You know what I'm saying? Like there is a wide list of very, very capable devices. So people that are looking for that aren't looking for this though. This is a different, um, per, you know, people who are buying this are buying it for a reason. They, they know what it offers kind of thing. So I think between these two, I mean, this would be a tough call. If you're buying, thinking of buying a new one right now, it's just like, yeah, the Mighty Plus is a proven winner. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a fantastic device. Um, it's only $50 more for this brand new one that's supposed to be pretty much better in any kind of way on paper, like any way that you're sort of looking at it. It's supposed to be, again, I've used it for a day, so we'll have to report back how actual battery life is, efficiency, all that kind of stuff. But Definitely, I think there's going to be some cannibalization in terms of people choosing the Venti over the Mighty Plus. Like, I think that's going to be what people are going to go with, at least for the time being. So there they are, all three lineup. You're seeing that right in front of you live, though. And for some reference, um, well, there it is next to a volcano. Okay, you know, kind of give you some reference there. Um, so there they are. So that that's my best kind of overhead I could do. So from that dimension there, it's not too much crazy different as you can see, like it is wider, um, but it's not like a night and day difference in that regard. And there it is next to some other uh, common devices there. There's the Rogue. I think that's just the Rogue, not the Rogue SE. And then that's the Tiny Mite 2. So it gives you, so like you see it, the Tiny Mite 2, it's like the Venti goes to where you know, the kind of guts of the Venti is where the Tiny Mike 2 body is and pretty close to where the Rogue body is as well. So it gives you some good sort of reference points about just exactly how big is this thing in your hand. So if you're looking for a super, super portable, you know what I mean? Probably not the best choice. Um, one thing to keep in mind as well, if you're buying a Crafty Plus or a Mighty Plus, these have a huge ecosystem of third-party accessories. There's a ton of different things you can get to enhance your experience with either one of these, whereas this doesn't at the time being. So there, there will be over time. We're definitely going to, definitely going to make some stuff for it. You know what I mean? But um, at this point, like I haven't, there's no water pipe adapter. Like it, it's brand new, right? So you're not getting the same ecosystem um, that you are now. Now I'll show you some demos here. Here's some, just some toke toke shots I've done over the last couple days and like again I got this yesterday yeah yesterday yesterday afternoon right so yeah I haven't run a ton of bowls through it but we're gonna run through some together here I think we're going to do that it looks like an old what does a new school taser look like that's what I want to know I'm, I'm in Canada here we don't have cool things like tasers you know what I mean they don't trust us with uh, that kind of stuff up here I don't know why they should they definitely should so there you go. We're going to watch this little session here, and then I'm going to have a little session. Now, if you guys have any questions, I can answer. Some of these questions, I just I don't have the answer to yet, but ask me here anyways, and when I do my full review, I will have the answer to that point. Walkie-talkie. There you go. A little walkie-talkie action on there. I can see that. Breaker, breaker. Come in. So this is at 400 degrees. I'm ripping this here, and these are most of these are wide open. They're mostly wide open or on medium, very few did I go to the most restricted airflow because I just don't see any reason to. I just don't want to. I, I, I like airflow. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about you guys, but I would prefer wide open airflow if I can get it. You know what I mean? Um, it really was actually quite surprising once I went back and hit the Mighty Plus. You do you do spy a grow tent, Bing's buttery. Good, uh, good eye on that. It's not operational right now. I, I've been growing the auto flowers, but it's just like it's harder than... Uh, I don't know. I'm having, I'm, I need some. I need some help with it. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it definitely is a grow tent there. And I got some decent stuff. Got some decent stuff. But uh, I lost my train of thought. I think I was saying breaker breaker or something like that. But um, the the cooling unit. I don't want to take that apart right now, just because like we're live and I haven't taken it apart. So it's just like I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a separate video on that though. So I'm gonna do just a standalone video, just taking the cooling unit apart. But I do. I just don't want to do it like live, and then I'm trying to do a demo session. I have tough. I'm like you know. I'm I'm already trying to make to do a makeshift kind of water pipe adapter for you guys here, which is going to involve me putting on this hose, and it's going to be really hard. So it's like we, we <laughs> I already have one challenge. Oh, okay. Nudge, nudge. That is the comment I wanted to see. That is the comment I want to see. Um, does it have the bickle tickle, right? Sometimes people say that if you see, you've heard people say that about the mighty plus about the crafty plus, And usually they mean that it's just like these, like those 
something like the Mighty Plus or the Crafty Plus, that's one of the reasons that I say I think this thing has a lot more convection because it's a lot smoother, like a lot smoother. I find when I'm hitting the Mighty Plus, if I pack this thing with a brand new bowl, I'll start at like 350 or 360 and it puts out just like, the. I don't know if it's just the density of the vapor, what exactly it is, but like it makes you cough after a couple hits. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't, I can't hit this thing on like 400 and just... You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'll be like hacking it up. You got to like take time in your session kind of thing. But when I've been hitting this thing, like I've been hitting it at 400 and, um, you know, I recorded the whole session and I think in the whole, you know, say it was like six hits, like maybe after the third hit, I'm like, <coughs> and like, that's it. It's not like this hacking up a lung kind of thing. So it seems like what they've been able to do is with that increased airflow that they've able to get in here and then having the powerful heater, it's um, usually if you think of an, a device that lets you have more airflow, you just think of diluted vapor, right? You think of the maximum thickness when you have no extra airflow. And then you think as you add the airflow, you're just adding dilution to it. So you're getting a thinner vapor, but it's not really so much what I'm getting here. The, the tokes are quite consistent at the same temperature, depending regardless of how you have it set for airflow. Right. So again, this is my one day assessment. We'll get into some bowls and know a little more, but I think that is like the primary thing that's tough to communicate in the marketing. You know what I mean? Like they can make these videos and people are fishing and all that kind of stuff and it looks cool, but it's just like, how's the vapor? You know what I mean? And I'm happy to say the vapor is killer. Like the vapor is killer on it. And at the end of the day for me, that's the main thing, especially if you're buying a premium device, I want a premium experience, right? And the vapor on this seems premium for sure, right? So, I mean, that's the most important thing to me uh, with a new device. Uh, let's see, a question. Oh, we got a couple questions there. Let's let's go right into, we're going to go directly into the Q&A because we're, we're answering questions, baby. So, here we go. Um, Ampere to Mighty Volcano. I, that I don't know. He the, the, If you go and watch the keynote again, he mentions the Mighty um, heater strength compared to this one here, but I, I don't just have a list of all of them. That, that would be nice. If someone did, that would be a really cool uh, thing to share. Can you dab from it? I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it goes up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is pretty light for dabby, and it doesn't include like a little pad or anything like that, but you know, I'm sure some people will try it, but you just have to keep in mind, just make sure it's not going to melt down into the heater. That's the thing you want to avoid. Less is more. Maybe put some on top of some flowers, something like that, but it's not a device for dabs. It's a dry herb vaporizer straight up. Um, how fast does it clear a bowl? I'd say pretty fast. Like I was kind of surprised with how fast it was seeming to clear a bowl. You know, the Mighty, the Crafty Plus, these aren't devices that give you that blackened, charred kind of flower. Like, they get off what is available at that temperature, and then that's it, right? So, um, I think with those hard pulls, you can get the vapor out even faster kind of thing, but you can kill a bull pretty quick in this. Um, I don't think any of the lineup is the most efficient devices when you're comparing it to something where you can brown it up a little more, but I think sometimes, too, like, in our head, we want to see that brownness, but in the effects and in reality, I don't know if we always do, you know what I mean? So I think it's just, it's going to harvest what is available at the temperature you have it set to. That That's kind of the best thing. Is it top heavy? It's no, I mean, it's not, but it's, it's tall, right? So, I mean, you can certainly knock it over. I've knocked it over for sure. Um, you know, it like compared to like the mighty with the kickstand. Yeah. It's like, it's as stable as can possibly be, but um, you know, it is, it is tall, right? So I, I don't know if it's necessarily top heavy, but it's definitely tippable. You can certainly tip it over onto the ground if you want. Uh, but I, I, I'd recommend not. So if anyone has any more questions here, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to give this, uh, give this a go pretty thing. I mean, uh, I hope someone has, I hope someone has a question here. Cause I, I, once, once we get into the sessions, then the stream is like, you know, it's coming to an end kind of thing. But if you guys, um, want to find out more about this, I don't know for sure, but I had imagined Troy and Jerry are doing a stream about this tonight. Um, and you know, those guys do some great stuff too, and they will rip it hard. You know what I mean? Like once I'm ripping it, my session's kind of over, but those guys are just getting started kind of thing. So yeah, I think they have a stream going tonight, but uh, check that out, Troy and Jerry, uh, if you want to see some more. And I'm going to do a full review on this thing coming out soon once I've had a little more time with it kind of thing. So, well, I guess we're going to have to go ahead and load it up here. Um... Uh, I was hoping, okay, we get a couple more, okay, a couple more questions. Whew, that's good. Um, 
let's see. I'm reading it. I'm reading them talking. Have I used it with water? No, I haven't because I haven't, nothing I've had, I've tried to work it with has worked yet. But like I said, I'm going to do my best to make that happen for you guys. Um, and I was able to use, and strangely enough, what worked was the Volcano Hybrid tubing. That's what I was able to fit. And that's the only thing, the regular tubing we use for our globes and stuff like that. It just wouldn't fit because this is, it's a substantial, like check, check this out here. This is one thing I didn't really show you guys. These close-ups sometimes are, are harder, but if you look at that, you can pretty easily tell that the Venti has a substantially wider mouthpiece than the Mighty Plus. So that's going to give you better airflow too. Like you got such better airflow, they had to make the mouthpiece wider kind of thing. You can actually, I saw somebody do this on uh, F Combustion there. Look at that. You can mate the two sort of thing if you want, right? Make them kiss, um, you know. And we'll leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, but you can. You can do that should you want to. Um, when will it be available on your Canadian website? Excuse me. I'm going to have a coffee. Sometimes you just got to get it out of here. Um, as soon as possible, we're going to have it on our Canadian site. Our distributors don't even have them yet kind of thing. So it's like, it's just a waiting game at this point, but as soon as we possibly can, um, hopefully sooner than later, you know, but, uh, I would imagine they're probably a little constrained in supply, like stores and vehicles probably wants to sell as many as they can directly before they kind of sell them to wholesalers and stuff like that. But hopefully not going to be too, too long. Um, no, I, yeah, I haven't used it through water, no water. Can you grab me a three in one adapter? Crafty Mighty three in one. I'm just going to try one of our Crafty Mighty three in one. I don't expect this to fit, um, but I just want to give it a try to see if it will. Let's see. I tried, yeah, I tried our, our, our master adapter. Everything that I tried that I can normally make it work with, it just didn't really work with that. There we go. Thank you. Let's see. No, it doesn't even totally totally different sort of a socket size doesn't interface with that at all so yeah it's gonna have to be a totally redesigned kind of a water pipe adapter unfortunately um and for anyone wanting i showed you the unboxing video but um that is the cable it comes with just usb-c to usb-c so it's probably something you already have um do i like it more than the mighty i, I assume you mean the mighty plus i mean it's, it's tough to say no at this point i'm just I'm just trying to think of anything, you know, again, you got to keep in mind, it's like, I'm only 24 hours with it. And there's always a bit of a honeymoon period. You know what I mean? When you get something new and it works well, you're always like, this is amazing. You know? And like after a week or two, it comes down to earth a little bit and you can assess it a little bit differently. But, um, so far, yeah, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward, uh, initial answer. I would say most aspects of it are preferential compared to the mighty plus so far. So I would say, yeah, but it's not like all of a sudden this sucks or something like that, but it's just like the things that I like from the device, the things that are more important to me. I like on this one more than that one. You know what I mean? Different people use different things. Like some people are vaping outside the house all the time and in a place where maybe you're not really supposed to. So stealth is super important. Some people are vaping at home. So people have different kind of requirements um, and, and different aspects of the device that they're looking for. Um, is it really worth it? Looks too big pricey without replaceable batteries. Like, again, that's one of those things where nobody can answer that question for you. I can just tell you what I like about it. Um, you know, what I report certain aspects about it, but you have to decide if something's worth it. You know, I mean, ask yourself, do you think the mighty is worth it? If you think the mighty is worth $400, $400 I can't see how you don't think this is worth 450 Like that just doesn't make sense to me. If you think the mighty is crazy overpriced, dude, well, you probably think this is as well, you know, but if you think the mighty is a decent deal, then I can't see $50 more being the deal breaker sort of thing compared to what you're getting for this brand new device, right? So, um, let's see. Can you talk more about the airflow and how easy it is to inhale? How does, how can this relate to something like the Solo Tour Air Max? Yes, I can definitely. Well, I'll try to do it towards the mic so you can also hear it a little bit more. So if you look at the airflow right now, this has like a kind of a bottom notch and this is closed. Like this is like, like it's like completely closed off. It just, there's no airflow going on. And quite next to that is one. So now this is level one right here. Now, let me just draw through the mighty so you can hear that, right? I'll do back and forth. So, fairly similar. 
I would say, you know, maybe 1.1 or something is probably the match to the Mighty. Now, if we go ahead and do setting two, but keep in mind, you can go in between these. You don't just have to go to these settings, right? But this is two. So pretty substantially more free on number two. I think a lot of people are going to want two because it's the kind of sweet spot in the middle. But now if we go to number three, so this is the wide open max airflow. You know what I'm saying? Like I can fill out my lungs real quick. Like it is very, very, very free airflow when you're at the freest airflow point. So uh, compared to something like a Solo 2 or an Air Max, like those are typically known to be a little harder to draw through. Um, so su substantially better unless you want to, for some reason, close it down to the very bottom. But you probably don't if you're talking about wanting more airflow kind of thing. Um, does it have pass through? I don't know for sure. I want to say no, just because I remember seeing somebody say it didn't, but that I don't know for sure. So um, keep in mind, though, one thing is that the charger is on the bottom. So it's, you know, maybe a little awkward to use when you're charging it. Um, but yeah, I'm not positive on that one, but I will find out for my for my review here. Um, yeah, no, I, I did. I did mention the heater being the largest. Yeah, no, I, I totally mentioned that. Yeah, no, I did mention that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I will I will reiterate the the heat, the heater and the airflow are the, the real magic piece of this thing, right? That you can have this wide open, hit it hard, put it at a high temperature, and you're still spitting out big hits, right? I think it's just they've you know, it's tough to articulate sometimes, but that is what I think. I'm just like, I've been really impressed with the hits from it and for that reason, right? But thank you for uh, reiterating that point. It's an, it's an important point. Like that's, to me, that's maybe the most important point. You know what I mean? Like 20, 20 second heat up, sure. I, I saw a great comment on FC and someone is just like, people treat their vape startup time like, uh, you know, like a shave and a half second off a marathon kind of thing. Like, you know, 20 versus 60, does it really matter that much at the end of the day as compared to if you get way cooler vapor or way better airflow? I'll take better airflow, better vapor to faster heat up any day of the week. You know what I'm saying? Like I have on-demand devices for that purpose kind of thing, right? So um let's see can i compare compare the intensity of the hit to the tiny mite to another high-end portals hmm. some of these are tough because they're they're like there's just your own kind of bias and how you hit devices um maybe it's just gonna be best to see a session kind of a thing right like i'll show you if you want to see another kind of um that, that's like the demo session I kind of increase the temperature as we go up here, but it, it puts out a nice, a nice thick hit if you want to hit it at those higher temperatures um, and rip it pretty hard. So, you know, kind of tough to compare A to B to B sort of thing, but um, comparable, you know what I mean? If, if that's helpful, I would say it's in the same league or in the same wheelhouse if that's kind of what you're looking for. Um, so I'll do one more question here and then we're going to load this up. How is cooling and or cleanability? Cleanability, I don't know yet. I would I would assume it's going to be very similar to their other devices with their other cooling units. Um, but the cooling is awesome. Cooling is very, very good. Cooling is one of those things where it's not like right away, I'm just like, I want to make a water pipe adapter for this. Like, you know, I, I was like right away, like, it actually is not too bad. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's go ahead and load this up. I want to show you kind of two different sessions. I'm going to do sort of a lower temp session. And then we'll go, uh, we're going to try the higher temp in a water pipe. So we're going to do it, guys. We're doing this. We're doing it live. Um, okay, here we go. This is where things, things get real here. This is, where, this is where it all gets real. I'm using our glass loading scoop here. I find this is actually perfect for loading this thing. Perfect, perfect. So I've got my flour reasonably dry here. Um, my hands get all clammy when I'm doing these videos, you know, it's just like I'm normally not very clammy, but now I'm clammy to the extreme. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up two different times. Just do kind of like, you know, I'm going to step up this first session. So kind of use that super booster. And then the second one, I'm going to see if I can get this to work in the water pipe. I might need Sneaky Zoo to help me here, but, uh, I know she is ready, willing and able, more able than me. I can say that in general. Load it up pretty decent there. I think I'll go to this first session. I'm going to go to 365. You know, it's one of these things when 
whenever you're doing a video like like this, you're doing a live stream, you're doing a review video, you always want to try to like, oh, is that is this hit good enough to show? Because you show a hit that's not that thick. People are like, that thing sucks, you know? And it's just like, sure, but you know, <laughs> not every hit is like the thickest hit. And like, when I'm just vaping on a day-to-day -day basis, it's not like I'm just necessarily just trying to kill it the thickest possible hit I can every time sort of thing, right? Like, that's more something you're doing for videos. So I want to show you the first session on just sort of a, more of a daily temperature, right? Like 365, that's something I'm going back to time and time again, right? So, so this is going to be totally, totally cool now. Um, Eric, Eric Nephron, no, batteries are not, no, no stores and Bickle device, no removable batteries at all, probably will never, ever happen. Not their thing, if you go back earlier, we talked about it being a medical device, they can't have removable one, so I think that's just their dev dev design ethos for everything, they're just like, we don't do removable batteries, you have to make a device differently too, if it's going to have removable battery, right, like it's, it, a lot of things have to be different, so this is totally cold. Um, so let's go ahead. I don't know what temperature I have it set to, but you'll see it's going to change. It's going to vibrate, but it's going to change color as well when it gets to that temperature. So I'm going to move it. So it's at 410, right? So I'm going to go down to, let's go down to 360, right on 360, right on 365. Wow. So let's go ahead, see how long it's going to be here. And it's going to go green and it's going to vibrate when it gets there. So there you go. So not that fast, right? And if you hit it like right, right away, you're not going to get anything because your flower still has to warm up a little bit, right? It's just the oven's kind of warm. Just a little bit, just like pure, pure terps kind of thing, right? So if you want your first hit to be a little thicker, just give it a few seconds. Um, but I just like, you know, your vapor's coming the second, the third, that sort of thing. Mm. So right now, this is on the widest open airflow, right? So you see kind of how those hits are. Now the bowl's still warming up here. Well, I'm going to just try to hit this one hard. Like, you know what I mean? I'm going to try to, not like as hard as I can, but on the harder side here. Mm. Still putting it out. Wait, wait a second here. There we go. Now it's really pumped it out. Let's go for reference sake here. Let's go to the most restrictive. So now we're down to level one here. So this is more similar to a mighty. Again, it's kind of through that ramp up of the bowl. So it's tough to compare one to one to one the vapor, but this is at the most restricted now. It's so different. The most restricted, like, wow, for me, that's for me, the most restricted is way too restricted comparatively. See, I notice if I'm at if I'm at number one, it's a little more ticklish kind of thing, right? So I definitely like to go to level two or three for sure. Mm. So once it's pumping out, like it's really just effortless, right? And just a super, super easy inhale, no technique required. So this would be a really, really good one to pass around in a group because you don't have to know much more than to inhale, right? It's kind of the main thing. So let's go ahead. I'm going to double click. So now this is going to 392. Now, as you notice, it doesn't change color again when it's going to temperature. You'll notice that the Fahrenheit starts flashing, right? So... I don't know why it doesn't change color again when it's going to go up to the next temperature. I kind of wish it did, but I'm guessing that the Fahrenheit stops flashing when it's a temperature. But that being said, I think it may be just boost mode because it probably gets temperature faster than that. So I've got to nail that down for sure. Mm. Still good flavor though. Like still really good flavor on that. It's obviously ramping down a little bit, but uh, it hasn't disappeared. Whew. 
So, I mean, I'm, I'm ripping it pretty hard. You know what I mean? Like if I was hitting a lot of apes that hard, you wouldn't be putting out too much vapor, especially the back to back hits kind of thing. So that 130 watt heater seems to be a little bit of magic in this thing. So, um, let's go ahead and boost it one more time here. So now this goes all the way to 410. See here, it did, it did change color. And then this time it, it vibrated as well. Right? So, <clears throat> uh, those scoops, we sell those on our site called glass glass loading scoop i believe check that out so 410 now this is i would never hit it at 410 normally but yeah that's i think the idea with the boost is to ramp you up through a temperature range to kill the bowl in one session i think that's what it is i, I can't know for sure but Okay, turn this off here. I think that bowl is pretty much, we're not getting the best of the vapors gone, right? The best of the vapors gone from that one. So we're going to reload, show you the ABV. I mean, it's still going to be, yeah, it's, it's browned, right? Can you see that there? It's kind of a light brown. Definitely still got some more. Like that by no means is done. But for our purposes today, it's going to be done because we're going to load a new one in. So this is going to be the hard part because now I got I to gotta bowl this here. Um... This, this is going to be the hard part because now oh, I made a, I'm always making a mess here because now I got to try to put this water pipe adapter on this here. Now, keep in mind, I haven't hit this through a water pipe adapter. So we're going to go through this experiment together here. So this is what I got kind of rigged up here. This is just a volcano hybrid tubing. This is a 14 millimeter whip adapter. And then I just was able to get this on the cooling unit, but it was really hard. So I'm going to do my best. I don't know if I perform better in front of an audience or uh, or the opposite, but uh, we're going to find out together, I guess. Come on, you. It just bit. Oh, there we go. Whew. Just barely kind of fits on there. There we go. See? That's on there decent. Give that a go. Okay. So let's go ahead and reload this up here. See if everyone's... Um. Okay. Let's go ahead... Get this loaded up, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go to just just go to four. Just go to four hundred. I usually don't like maxing devices out. You know, I just think of it like flooring a car. You know what I mean? Going as fast as the car possibly can. Like it's usually not good for the car to go absolute maximum, right? So I usually like to just kind of dumb it down a little bit. But who knows? I might just decide to do it. I haven't tried, like, I haven't really experimented with too many different grinds yet. This is quite a fine grind here. Um, but I haven't tried a more coarse grind. You know, I haven't tried the dosing capsules. So, um, looking forward to really trying it, putting it through the ringer here. Kind of seeing what it can do. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with what it has done for me. It's so hard to just not keep packing it, right? And just lightly tamping it every time. But it's, it's probably full. It's probably really full. Let's go ahead and give it a go. So after this here, we're going to be piecing out after this session here, but uh, I'm going to do a full review on this as well. So uh, I'll have, you know, I saw some good questions here that I didn't have the answer to, and I'll be able to try it in some different manners as well, right? So let's go ahead and heat this up, and we're going to go do, let's go to 405. Very close. 405, there we go. Okay. This tubing is a little... It's a little thick for kind of a tubing like this here, but uh, I'm going to let it warm up for a half second because that flower, let's go ahead and lay it down. There we go. I'll always lay it down. I don't see any reason it needs to stand up. It might look better for the video. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's give it a go. This is probably still going to be kind of a warm-up hit, but let's try it. A little too much water in there, I think. So that's probably just a get to know you kind of a hit. You know what I'm saying? Get the bowl warm. Make sure I don't end up drinking this here. If you ever end up drinking water during a hit, you can feel that pain. You know what I mean? We, we've all done it.
Mmm. Nice and tasty. Let's just max it out here. Let's go to 410. Let's do it. So this is a pretty decent little setup, the whip setup here, but a nice water pipe adapter will be good for sure. It's not bad through water. If you want to hit it at 410, I would probably do it through water. Nice solid little sesh here. <laughs> Definitely more hits than I normally ever do in a row kind of thing, but <laughs> you know what I mean? We're doing it for a video, so <laughs> let's make it happen. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be peacing out after this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this stream here. Thanks for sticking by. I know we had some audio issues at the start kind of thing, but I appreciate your guys' patience. Hope you enjoyed checking out the new Venti here. Let's do one more for the road. <laughs> this, is a bad, this is too high. I like having a crane in my neck here. Hmm. So there we go. Interesting through a water piece for sure. Um, I think this is one of those ones that you can hit on a higher temperature than you would expect without really needing to hit it through a water piece. But <clears throat> I've had this for about, you know, close to 24 hours now sort of thing. So really look forward to getting to know this a little bit better. Um, but pretty cool new device and uh, definitely, definitely interested in testing out a little bit more, but I'm probably gonna wait three or four minutes before my next test. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I really, really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Keep it green, keep it sneaky. See you next time.